Before we plunge into the declaration, understanding what is significant. Molecule gas pedals are the enormous Hadron Collider, LHC, worked by CERN. It is a 17-meter ring of superconducting magnets. Furthermore, it is the world's biggest and most powerful atom smasher. It addresses the zenith of human logical accomplishment. Truth be told, it's so powerful that it can reproduce the very states of the universe's introduction to the world. Yet, could this machine, intended to open the mystery of the universe, hold the key to something undeniably more dismal? CERN, established in 1954, is one of the world's most lofty exploration associations, with 23 member states and great many researchers. It serves as a center for collaboration and development. The LHC is CERN's lead project, but it's simply one piece of an immense network of gas pedals and investigations. Imagine a circuit, not for vehicles or horses, but rather for subatomic particles in a race against existence itself. The LHC speeds up protons to almost the speed of light, sending them on a crash course that copies the energy of the universe at the hour of the big explosion. These crashes make temperatures a multiple times more sizzling than the center of the sun. Huge numbers of magnets guide the protons on their excursion, while unpredictable cooling frameworks keep the magnets at temperatures colder than space. The radiates inside the LHC are made to impact at four areas around the gas pedal ring, corresponding to the positions of four molecule indicators. MAP, CMS, ALICE, and LHCB. Each serves a special purpose, investigating unique parts of molecule material science. Together, they go about as titanic cameras, catching depictions of these impacts. Researchers then filter through the flotsam and jetsam, searching for indications of the tricky Higgs boson, also known as the God molecule, and other peculiarities that deal pieces of information to the universe's key structure blocks. By concentrating on the microcosm, we gain bits of knowledge into the universe. Yet, with each answer comes another inquiry, and with each revelation, another test. The LHC isn't simply a logical instrument. It's a demonstration of human interest and development. It typifies our constant quest for information and our craving to grasp the major forces that shape our universe. Yet, as we push the limits of what we know, we must also consider the moral and existential questions that arise. What are the dangers of testing the obscure? Could our mission for understanding accidentally open forces we have no control over? In the consecrated corridors of CERN, where the limits of human comprehension are continually pushed, a discovery has arisen that sends a shudder down the spine of even the most prepared scientists. Brian Cox, a former scientist at CERN and a voice of expertise in the realm of molecule physics, has recently made a declaration that has left the world both captivated and uneasy. Cox's words reverberate with troubling clarity. The objective of CERN's Large Hadron Collider is to reproduce a small Big Bang. Yes, you heard that right, a miniature version of the very event that brought forth our universe. The physicist also happened to explain the implications of this goal, highlighting the LHC's phenomenal potential for making new discoveries. This includes its capacity to open the privileged secrets of the Higgs boson and investigate dark matter a mysterious substance that makes up a huge piece of the universe. Imagine holding the force of creation in your hands, the ability to summon the very essence of the universe. It's a tempting possibility, yet one laden with peril. The small Big Bang isn't simply a hypothetical idea. It's a tangible reality inside the LHC. The temperatures, the tensions, the raw energy, all replicate the conditions of the universe's outset. It's like standing at the beginning of recorded history, witnessing the birth of existence itself. But with such power comes responsibility, and the question looms. What if something goes wrong? In fact, something went wrong back in 1978. Russian physicist Anat Borsky experienced a catastrophe that would forever change the course of his life. While working on the U-70 synchrotron at the Institute for High Energy Physics in Russia, a glitch caused his head to inadvertently come into the direct path of a proton beam. The beam, with a force that defies understanding, passed through his skull, entering the back of his head and leaving through his nose. Borsky's experience was powerful. He saw a flash brighter than 1,000 suns, yet had no worries. The beam's path caused widespread tissue damage, but he remained conscious and even walked to the center for treatment. 
The result was both frightening and fascinating. The beam's path caused localized tissue death, leading to the loss of hearing in one ear and partial facial paralysis. Yet, remarkably, Borsky's intellectual abilities remained intact, and he continued his scientific career. This episode isn't simply an individual misfortune, but a wake-up call that highlights the enormous power and potential risk of particle accelerators. The dangers of an atom smasher like the LHC are not to be taken lightly. The potential for unexpected reactions, the very fabric of existence being altered. These are not the stuff of science fiction, but genuine concerns voiced by some mainstream researchers. One of the most disturbing and fascinating concerns related to the LHC's experiments is the possibility of creating a miniature black hole. Black holes are regions of space-time where gravity is so strong that not even light can escape. They are cosmic vacuum cleaners, devourers of stars, mysterious entities lurking in the shadows of our universe. The thought that the LHC could create such an entity, even on an infinitesimal scale, is alarming to both the public and experts alike. Might this black hole one day grow wildly, swallowing the Earth from within? However, researchers at CERN have assured that any black hole created would be unstable and dissipate nearly instantly. The remote chance has sparked debates, fears, and a sense of awe at the power we wield. It's important to understand how the LHC could create a black hole. It involves the fundamental mechanics of particle accelerators. When protons are crushed together at nearly the speed of light, the energy released is so immense that it warps the very fabric of space-time itself. Imagine a trampoline stretched tight, then a heavy weight dropped onto it. The fabric twists and bends, and if the weight is heavy enough, it could create a depression so deep that anything nearby would be drawn into it. This is an analogy for what could happen in the LHC. In the realm of quantum physics, where the rules of the universe are both strange and beautiful, there exists a theory that extra dimensions might be hidden within our world. If these dimensions exist, the LHC's collisions could tap into them, creating a gravitational well that forms a tiny black hole. This complex dance of particles has even caught the attention of some very prominent figures. Scientists, particularly the late Stephen Hawking in his book, he warned of a scenario where the Higgs boson could become unstable at very high energy. Levels this instability could lead to a catastrophic vacuum decay, a cosmic event that would not only destroy the Earth, but the entire universe itself. The esteemed British cosmologist and astrophysicist Sir Martin Rhee also expressed his concerns about the experiments conducted at sea in his book. On the future prospects for humanity, he explored the potential risks associated with particle accelerator experiments, including those at CERN, his words were not merely cautionary, they were tinged with a sense of existential dread. He spoke of a worst-case scenario where an ill-fated experiment could create a condition called vacuum instability. This instability could in theory trigger phase transition that would ripple through the very fabric of space-time, resulting in a cosmic catastrophe that could engulf the entire universe raises. Concerns were not limited to theoretical. Musings he assigned a probability to. These catastrophic outcomes, albeit a low, one but even a minuscule change he argued should give us pause the stakes, are unimaginably high in the margin for. Error is razor thin the scientists at. CERN have calculated the probabilities, run the simulations, and examined the Theories to argue for the safety of the LHC, in fact, Brian Cox himself acknowledged the importance of responsible exploration, recognizing that there are widespread fears and concerns surrounding the activities of the LHC. He emphasized that there are rigorous safety measures measures in place, extensive reviews and protocols that ensure the LHC's operations are conducted with the utmost care. Cox reassured that the energies involved are, well, within what the Earth naturally encounters and the chances of creating a stable black hole are astronomically low. Even if one were created, scientists say, it would be so tiny and so unstable that it would evaporate in a flash of energy, a phenomenon predicted by Stephen Hawking. Known as Hawking radiation, it would be a fleeting moment of cosmic, a glimpse into the abyss and then gone. 
Some have gone further speculating that the LHCs experiments could open a portal to another universe or dimension. This notion, though largely dismissed by the scientific community, has captured the imagination of many and has become a subject of fascination, fear, and even folklore what lies beyond our reality. Could we inadvertently unleash forces or entities that we do not understand? The idea of opening a portal to hell has even been sensationalized in various media adding fuel to the fire of uncertainty. But how did this idea come to be? And what does it mean in the context of scientific exploration? The concept of parallel dimensions is not new in physics string theory a leading candidate for a unified theory of everything posits that there may be more than the familiar three dimensions of space and one of time these extra dimensions could be compactified or hidden from our perception, but they could theoretically be accessed or revealed under extreme conditions now. Imagine the LHC as a cosmic key, unlocking doors that have been sealed since the dawn of time when protons collide at energies never before. Achieved on Earth they could in theory create rip pleas in the fabric of space-time potentially exposing hidden dimensions while the scientific community is largely skeptical of such. Sensational claims the very idea of particle accelerators unlocking the secrets of the universe has led to a wider public interest in the potential risks and consequences of such. Experiments in the end the LHC stands as a powerful symbol of human curiosity and Ambition, it is a testament to the progress we have made in understanding the universe, but also a reminder of the dangers that come with such knowledge. The universe may be vast, but the more we uncover about it, the more we realize how little we truly understand the quest for. Knowledge is one of humanity's greatest achievements, but it is also fraught with uncertainty and peril. Only time will tell if we are ready for what we might. Uncover next the Large Hadron Collider. LHC is a marvel of modern science and technology, but it also opens the door to questions that challenge the very foundation of what we understand about the universe. The machine itself is an engineering masterpiece stretching across a vast underground ring and featuring the most advanced and precise equipment ever built. It brings together a global network of scientists and Researchers who are united by one goal to answer some of the most profound questions about the cosmos, however, as scientists push the boundaries of human knowledge, they also face significant challenges, both theoretical and ethical. One of the key areas of study at the LHC is the quest for understanding the forces that govern the universe. For centuries, scientists have sought to unlock the mysteries of gravity electromagnetism, and the strong and weak nuclear forces the LHC provides an unprecedented opportunity to study these forces in extreme environments. The collision of particles at such high energies mimics conditions that existed just moments after the Big Bang when the universe was a hot, dense soup of particles. This allows researchers to probe the behavior of matter and energy in ways that were once thought to be impossible yet with the potential to make groundbreaking discoveries, the LHC also raises important questions about the limits of scientific experimentation, the possibility of discovering new particles such as supersymmetric particles or dark matter could revolutionize our understanding of the universe, but these discoveries could also have unintended consequences there is a growing awareness among some physicists that the experiments being conducted at the LHC may be unlocking more than just the secrets of the universe. They may be revealing new dangers or forces that humanity is not yet equipped to handle one of the most intriguing and unsettling ideas in this regard is the concept of a vacuum decay. This theory suggests that under certain conditions, the energy generated by Particle collisions at the LHC could cause a catastrophic shift in the fabric of space-time triggering a chain reaction that could alter the very nature of reality itself while the likelihood of 
this occurring is extremely low. The potential consequences are so severe that some have argued it is a risk that should be carefully considered a vacuum. Decay event, if it were to happen, could cause the collapse of the universe as we know it, potentially leading to the destruction of all matter and energy within our cosmos. Despite the speculative nature of these concerns, the LHC continues to be a focal point for scientific inquiry. The excitement surrounding the possibility of new discoveries often outweighs the cautionary voices every day thousands of scientists work tirelessly at CERN driven by a deep desire to uncover the fundamental truths that govern existence. Yet as the LHC operates at the cutting edge of science, the ethical implications of such powerful experiments remain a topic of ongoing debate. Another area of concern is the potential for creating phenomena that we simply do not understand. The LHC has already demonstrated the ability to create Exotic particles such as the Higgs boson that were previously only theorized. However, this ability to create new forms, forms of matter also raises the question of whether we could create particles or entities that could pose unforeseen risks. In a sense, the LHC is like a laboratory where nature's most powerful forces are unleashed in a controlled environment, but nature as scientists have learned time and again is not always predictable the potential for creating new forms of matter or energy extends beyond the LHC advances in technology and our understanding of quantum mechanics could one day allow for the creation of entirely new materials or forms of energy while this holds great promise it also brings with it the possibility of catastrophic failure new technologies while offering immense benefits have the potential to disrupt the delicate balance of nature, and create unintended consequences. Ultimately, the quest for knowledge is driven by humanity's insatiable curiosity and desire to understand the universe. The LHC represents a monumental leap forward in our understanding of particle physics, but it also highlights the complex and unpredictable nature of scientific progress as we continue to probe the deepest mysteries of existence. We must also remain mindful of the risks and consequences that come with such. Exploration, the pursuit of knowledge, is a noble endeavor, but it is one that requires careful consideration, responsibility, and respect for the unknown.